Okay, woohoo. Oh, I just feel like running my mouth for a little bit. It won't be long. I'm always saying that, but I promise this won't be uh, 15 minutes, maybe 20, if it goes that long. I just, you know, I listen to a lot of people speak. I'm always listening to people speak because I find people to be entertaining. I do. I love the human condition. I love humanity. I love the way that we all think uniquely. And um, I'm always listening to somebody, trying to tell somebody how they need to live their life, how they need to think and what they need to do or what's going on. And I'm always thinking, um, how are you going to change somebody or get them to do differently than what they want to do with no incentive? That's just my question. Um, I just want to ask people. I don't know what people think. You know me, I like dialogues. And I just want to understand other people's thoughts. Now, for originally, I was going to do something. I was going to call it, why do we deal with delusional people? Because a lot of people are, to me, sorry to say, not to be negative, because I love you all, but a lot of people are kind of delusional. You have delusions of, of grandeur. Like we, We're all special and we're all unique, but people, to me, uh, they act like they come up with something new under the sun that nobody's done it before. And um, it just perplexes me. A lot of things confuse me and a lot of things amaze me. So I just ask this question for anybody who watched this, because this will not be long. How do you change somebody when there's no incentive for the person to change? I know that uh, this is not an attractive topic. I know it's not, um, how do you say, moving. But it's, for me, it's just a question. I just like to ask questions, and I hope that when people see it, um, they have a response. A lot of things for me is to generate a response, to generate an interaction. And um, so I want to know what other people think. And um, I'm always confused. I'm always astounded and perplexed about the way that people view the world. People view the world as things are wrong. And I always think right and wrong is subjective, but people are always saying people shouldn't do this and people shouldn't do that. So for, you know, that's just my question. How do you change people? Hey, foot soldier, let's have a dialogue, you and I. Hopefully that you will interact with me because I really, um, I want to say something different, but this was just how I was thinking. Um, why do people try to change people when there's no uh, incentive. Hey, Husky and Wolf Dog, I just want to have a, a conversation. I'd love to get your perspective. Um, you want somebody to do something differently, right? And let's take away any threat of, of, of punishment. Um, <laughs> you're not in trouble. I just want to understand how do people um, get, how do you think people are going to change if there's no incentive for them to do so? There, if, it's, if you want me to, to, let's say I'm working at a job, right? And a job is paying me whatever minimum wage is. And here's another job. This job is going to offer me $100,000 uh, $100, a year. Why should I stay at this minimum wage job when I can go to this other job? What incentive can you offer me? Uh, big homie. Uh, I love what he's. You can't change people unless uh, useless to try, but everybody tries. And that's what I was going to say earlier. We have a lot of people <laughs> to me that are delusional. Um, you think that if you get somebody to do something they don't want to, they don't want to do that they're they're going to be happy doing it. No, they're going to be. Oh. I don't want to deal with people who are um, bitter or resentful for what they're doing. If you don't want to do something I want you to do, um, then you're free to do what you want. But this is just my question overall. Um, for social, good afternoon, Husky and Wolf Dog. Well, good afternoon to everybody. I, I'm honored, I'm humbled, and I'm really appreciative that you guys would interact with me and I can have a quick dialogue just to get people's perspective. And I'm trying, I'm always trying to understand why so many people want to change what other people do. How does how somebody live affect you? I mean, I understand if it's economically or taking away some of your rights. <laughs> um, I, 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 if, <laughs> I, I'm just curious. Hey, Joyful, much respect to you, my brother. That is the reason suffering exists at all, to go us to change. That is why it is so hard for the rich, um, the highly the highly attached to be free. They do not suffer enough or are able to offset with pleasure. You got to elaborate on that because I think I get what you're saying. But um, like for me, I don't ever want to wish suffering on anyone. But if somebody has suffered, then usually they will have empathy for somebody else. So, you know, that's just back to the question is, Okay, my overall statement is that you can't change anyone. People are free to be what they are or what they want to be. But if there is incentive for somebody, um, they will change. So, for instance, um, if I knew that um, I would die if I ate unhealthy and then I decided to change my lifestyle, the incentive is for me to live. But what if there is no incentive for me to change? Why should I change? And that's the question that I just want to ask the world. I want to ask people in general. For me, um, it's, all, it's all about love. Uh, 
Joy Fold, you always make me smile with the music, bro. Keep it coming, keep it coming. And your deep thoughts, man. I would, man, the thoughts was, you know, I love it. I ended up reading your comments a couple of times because it was so heavy. Um, yeah, so I want to know what other people think. Um, Husky, Wolf Dog, Foot Soldier, Big Homie. I just, you know, I want to know what your thoughts are. And I'm always perplexed as to why people always try to change people. Um, Joy Fold says, if one does not suffer within themselves, they will never try and seek change. They will remain asleep, lost, falsely believing they are the ego. Suffering goes us to seek within. I'm going to have to think about that. Um, is it always suffering though? I mean, that's, that's what you, what you're saying. I understand, but is it always suffering? Is it suffering when you want to achieve something? Like, cause I, I, people see it a different way. Um, maybe it's desire. Is it desire suffering? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm following you, but I'm just asking questions because, um, I don't really think I have ever really suffered. Like of people, when they use the term suffering, it means trepidation and pain or, or loathing or, toil like i put in work and like let's say you had to lift a box and box was heavy would that be considered surf suffering but i enjoy the challenge of the suffering so if i enjoy it is it suffering but i totally get what you're saying i, I was love man i would love for you to elaborate on that for me because I, I get it i get it but then again there are some people that can reach that point of enlightenment i guess i don't know if that's the right term to use where just existing and the suffering of life becomes not suffering because it's pleasure in itself it's kind of moving me like okay you're making me go there because I love this. Like I see, we're all connected. We are all one. So uh, if you suffer, I suffer. I get that. Um, okay, let me because he put us deep. Joyce Fold says, "I speak of walking to the true self, being not satisfied." Okay, I agree with that. Being not satisfied is suffering. Yeah, that's what I I can agree with that. I 100 agree with that. Feelings need feelings need is suffering. I agree with that. I speak of self realization. Those suffering goals is towards realizing the true self. Okay, I can accept that. I understand. I agree. Um, yeah. And some people who have never, but everybody desires something, but I think a lot of people don't know how to tap into that suffering or um, the challenges of lack. Um, I think that's what the motivation of, of everything is, is to know more, is to be a part of. Uh, like when I see other humans, everybody, I'm trying to empathize with you in any which way I can so that I can understand where you're coming from. I mean, that should be the goal of all, but I don't think everybody understands that. Some people get caught up in their own internal suffering that they don't even understand the suffering of others. And I'm always um, trying to do that. Like I may not agree with um, when you, it's nothing wrong with feeling pain, but it's when you project that pain on other people is when I have a disagreement with, but I'm, because we all vibrate some type of frequency, I understand being receptive to it, but that's never, um, what my goal is, but I do wish people could have more dialogues like with, with me and Brother Joy Folder having right now. I think that, uh, it, it's so much I don't understand. Um, man, you, you just messed me up, <laughs> but I think, be, pe but when people want to change others, when people do want to change other people without an incentive that is due to the, your suffering is what makes you want to make a change. So sometimes that may be it why people. So like, it's hard to let other people be when their existence caused you to suffer. Man, this is deep, man. You made me go deeper than I was thinking about going. Thank you. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> if you want others to change, change oneself. I agree with that a thousand percent. Um, big homie is silly, but um, see when it comes to, um, I was about to go somewhere, but I'm not, I'm really, I'm, I'm thinking deeply. Um, sometimes I wish I had more dialogue with people who really want to change the world because I, I want to change the world, but in a, in a way to make, okay, that, okay. This is great. This is, this is great. Um, how I look at the world is I want the world to be loving. I want people to love each other. I want people to interact on that level is I respect you as a person or whatever you are, however you see yourself, I respect your existence. So because I see that a lot of people don't accept other people's existence and that a lot of people want to change other people, that brings me some sort of sadness, which is quote unquote suffering. So, um, but I'm not trying to force change upon people. I would love to change the world, but I want people to want to change themselves. It's not for me to force you to be other than who you are, but if you, who you are um, is, um, what would you call it? Actually, physically painful to somebody else. Then I, I, you know, I would want you to change, but I would never force you to change. Joyful says one's own self causes reactionary behavior in others. If our own self is correct, proper, self-realized, we instantly benefit all those we will meet. Okay, I'm gonna think about that. That's deep. Um, 
But how do you ever, like, okay, I can feel like I'm being the best person I can be. I'm thinking I'm the best Charles. I think I'm loving. I think I'm great. But to somebody else, me being great to everybody can cause them pain. And um, and then somebody else will say, Charles, you're incorrect, but it feels right to me. So that's that's what the argument is. And our, like I was going to say, are people who know that they're doing right, are they delusional? Hey, good witch hunting. Much respect to you. Uh, let me say what I should say. I always, I keep forgetting. Everybody should subscribe to Joyfold and Husky and Wolf Dog and Good Witch Hunting and uh, anybody who's a content creator because I want everybody to subscribe to everybody. Uh, Joy is speaking broad and five strokes, kind of like uh, Deepak Chopra, uh, some of the Buddhist philosophy. I, I need to study. Well, the brother's deep. Um, he's saying what he, Harry. Volcam, much respect to you. Of course, I got to say, everybody subscribe to Volcam. But I'm, I love to shout people out. I want you to always feel that uh, if you come here, it's never a problem for you to network. But this is just um, like me. I'm never trying to change people. I, I don't mind asking questions. I don't mind having um, uh, dialogues with people. I don't mind. If you want to know um, who Joyfold is, click on, click on, go to visit uh, the page. Go visit Joyfold's page, and then you will see. Um, excellent page. Um, <laughs> so. Anyway, I, I just like to get other people's perspectives on how they feel about life. Um, why would people try to change people if there is no incentive? Um, I, I don't get it. Like, I'm not, oh, this is, this man, this is when deeper than I thought it was going to be. I thought I was going to have just a little quick uh, interaction, just speak about some things. Um, <laughs> um, okay, big homie, let me ask you some questions because you always want to push some good buttons. Um, does a does a name make a person, or does a person just wear a name? Because I can say my name is it right now, and would it make me any less or, or any more? And however you identify me, be it man, woman, or I identify myself. So that's how I see myself. That means something. But your perception can influence the reality that others see. But the way that I think about me inside myself is totally different than the perception that that you have. So. I see myself as a human first. Somebody else may not. It's on them. Somebody may not even see me as a human. So I, I don't get mad about that. But it's all about um, what people want to be called and not call them that. So um, I, for me, I'm a man. I'm a man. I, that's who I am. But if somebody wants to be called any type of pronoun, I'm not opposed to whatever um, pronoun or noun or term or name that they want to be. So if somebody asks me a question, I approach it as such. So if you have a question about how somebody feels about themselves or how they want to be a uh, called and you asked him. You know, that's my, that hopefully makes my statement. Um, Jay Fo says, a person is an illusion. Persona is a mask. Warned to denote a character. Person is not real. It is a dream. It will die with the brain that thinks it. Consciousness, awareness has no name and is itself. I agree with that. Because we are, man, Jay Fo make me go there. Like, listen, all you know is what you feel right now and all you feel is you. So if people feel that this is it, but Life is more than that. You are connected to everything. You could be just it. You could just be consciousness, which is not anything. But because we have ego, we identify with the persona, with the person that we wear. And Joyful is saying it, so I have to elaborate on that because I agree with his statement. Um, that's how I think. So to, if I'm mean to you, it's like I'm being mean to myself. But people are, are, are so easy to separate themselves from others that we don't ever see somebody like we see ourselves. And that's why you say do unto others as you do unto you. And when people say that, it's so heavy. It's so uh, laden with meaning. It means that we are all connected. Like you could feel if I'm happy, you can feel my happiness. If I'm angry, you can feel my anger. I've never touched you. How do you feel that? That's a hell of a question to ask people. But Cassie, what's going on? I've missed you. I'm so happy that you're here. You need to do more live so we can have a question and answer session. But um, <laughs> I was just here running my mouth and um, joyful and big homie and foot soldier and um, husky and wolf dog and, and you <laughs> and everybody else here, good witch hunting. And Volcam um, came in and uh, just made it great because I was just about to jaw jack for a little bit and hop on off, but people start popping in. Um, I'm gonna tell you about me because I'm 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 self aware of this of this body of this form of this part of my consciousness that we're all connected to, um, and what I want to do all the time is improve people's lives, improve their day, make you smile, and I like to ask questions because I want people to to think. I want you to think more and understand what is your purpose, whatever it may be for us as a collective, as a universe, as whatever we are, because I don't have the answers. Um, but I don't, I don't let me get too crowded. I don't want to shatter nobody's worldview. That's not what I'm saying. The point that I'm making is, is already um, 
people are unhappy and in pain. So what can I do to make you feel better? What can I do to make you smile? So that's usually where my point of view is. So then my question overall is why don't we just let people be? So then I ask questions to make people think about it. And I'm like, I always, if somebody hasn't physically hurt you, I mean, we can all I understand mental pain and anguish and depression and how people think. I understand all that. I am not diminishing anybody's thoughts or pain or any of that. That's not what I'm saying. But what I will say to people is the way that you choose to feel your consciousness, your being, this entity that you are. You are happy or sad because of the way you choose to feel. You see, I like if I like rocks and you bring me a rock, I'm gonna be really happy. If you if I like rocks but you bring me some paper, I might be sad. That's my reality. That's how I choose to see it. So a lot of people are unhappy because they are not doing whatever purpose they think they should be doing, or something is missing and they haven't thought about it much. But in joyful, it's messing with me going there. But I love you for this. I do. And so the illusion is that we are. The thoughts in the head, the flesh of the body, yet the awareness, there's only one. One sun shining in the rays of itself. God, the source, that's his rays. That's pretty awesome. So we are all connected. We are all God. But everybody might not understand it, but I do. Okay, says, miss you to never doing one. So, okay, I look forward to joining in with you. Is a cell of the body an individual or is it a whole being? Both. So are we. I totally agree with that. I had a, a whole dialogue about that. Um, What are we? What is an atom? What is an atom made of? And is, is an atom part of a molecule? Is a molecule part of a cell? How many cells part of some skin? I'm, so it's it's so much to it that people don't even understand. You don't even understand you are energy. Energy, it transforms to create what we are and whatever way you want to see it. And if it's energy, we're always touching. So as soon as I touch this table, it's always an exchange of energy. So the, the table, oh, hold on, stop it, Joey, fold. You're making me go there. But it's, it's dope. It's, this is dope. It's, yeah, yeah, how be in a room with us? Well, we might just turn into you might we might just a big white light and we cease to exist because we become one. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm serious as hell, but I'm joking. Um, no, I, but I think like that, so you know, but I understand the ego and, and the ego. My last name is Joy, my pops is our favorite member. Her Homer wrote Joy wrote Streets of Bakersfield and was nominated for a Grammy. Awesome, <laughs> blessed we are. Um, now I'm, I'm all lost in the chat, <laughs> uh, man. I, people that like I hope everybody listen everybody who's a content creator like Cassie's a content creator Volcam is a content creator La Belle Diva everybody's a content creator I grab each other you know because you know I'm trying to go back into this <laughs> the, the physical realm so I don't get spiritual out there um I, most people are trying to connect with people and spread whatever message they have or their art or their love or their beauty on YouTube. And I want everybody to always connect with people. So for me, go back to the chat, try to check people out, agree or not, still check them out because it helps them in their in their goal of whatever it is for YouTube. And my goal is for you guys all to smile. My goal is to just have fun and interact with people. And this is this has really, really been fun. Jerry Fold's been dropping it on me. <laughs> I'm a big homie going, going back and forth. A big homie is good. Um, a good guess, like, but Jerry Fold only speaks his own existence, that other experiences match my own is to be expected because we think the same. I mean, no matter what people, okay, you, a lot of people are scared to self, scared to self reflect and we all have whatever purpose it is for us, our existence. I don't know what it is. I, it's for experience in my brain It's for us to learn and grow and love and help the overall universe, the consciousness, the being, the God, whatever term you use to use for spirituality or uh, for the existence of us all, is love and joy and fun and happiness. And there's always going to be opposition because you need to have checks and balances for us to, for the consciousness, for us to exist, to experience. So that's why things happen the way they happen. But uh, when we are happy with each other, when we are in our place of being, everything is wonderful. So let's be wonderful. Charles, it doesn't make any sense. It may not. Sometimes I'm over my own head. But on a one-on-one -on -one conversation with somebody, I will break it down to a more simplistic form because life continues. Life, even when we cease to be in this physical, the universe, life will still go on. <laughs> uh, uh, let me say, let me say I, I do it right. Oli channel, much respect to you. I'm always going to say everybody subscribe to Oli channel and Vloclam and La Classe and uh, Joyfold and Abel Diva <laughs> and Husk, Husky and Wolf Dog and Joyfold. Um, Joyfold says, if I am seeking my own meet and experience God, and then I look outward to find others who have felt and experienced the same, and I find similar experiences described across religion. Most people, you know what, that is true. Look, I really don't speak on people's religious views, but the same overall underlying message is that, you know, all life is precious. We are all connected. We are all supposed to be at peace with one another. I don't have the answers, but, you know, I'm just trying to get like millions. Yeah, that's so true. So, um, 
That's my whole point. Hey, Frank G, my brother, much respect and love to you, my brother. Everybody should subscribe to Frank G TV. Cool brother that just does whatever he wants to do and is always positive and uplifting, my brother Frank. <laughs> so yeah, I, I I would love for somebody um to to you know to join in and tell me why do you try to change people when there's no incentive? Because there needs to be something for the person to want to change for. You can't change people who don't want to change. And that's just my belief. But um I, <laughs> I love to hear what other people got to say. Hobby money. You know, much love to hobby money. You know, I'm always say everybody should subscribe to hobby money. <laughs> I love hobby money. I'm at work, so I would just be listening. It's, it's all great. My sister, I'm just speaking and making a general conversation that I hope people engage with me in because, okay, I have my own thoughts, but my thoughts are just that. They're just my opinion, and a lot of it is not based on fact. So when I interact with other people, I know that other people can help me uh expand my consciousness, expand the way that I view the world. So I love to talk with people and I love to ask questions that will at least get you to think there's no real right or wrong answer. It's just from my perspective. So my question would be, I may want people to act different, but if for me to get the whole group to act different, I have to give them some type of incentive. So I'm asking why do people try to change people when it's not going to be beneficial to them? If if you like to eat um, pizza and pizza is not detrimental to you, why would you stop eating pizza if it's no benefit to you. If you like pizza and it doesn't hurt you, why would you stop? How could I, it has to be some type of incentive. It has to be something for you to want to make that change. Hey, Skylar Mirror, I hope that you are feeling great. I'm just rambling. Uh, feel free to say what you want. Everybody's welcome here. Um, I, I love the interaction. I love the conversation. Um, Husky and Wolf Dog is here. Everybody check them out. Frank GTV is here. Vlo Clam is here. Joy Fold is here. Hobby Money is here. And I'm just running in job jacking for just a little quick second to get people's perspectives. So it, for me, it's always about learning what other people think. And um, I've never been one who wants to change others. How I want to change the whole world, really, but I don't want to change individuals. What I want is for people to love people, to accept differences, and understand people are never going to see it your way. And that there's no, there's more than life, but it's so hard to, like even me, I talk to Joyful, and I agree with pretty much everything he's Joyful to saying, but it's like to escape the ego is something that I haven't achieved yet because no matter what, I get angry, I get sad, and, and I haven't detached to the point where I can let it all go because uh, this existence means something, this reality means something, and I just want everybody to appreciate the experience. And for me to actually get beyond that would be something I, I haven't got. I haven't got to the God state yet, to uh, to the Neo, becoming the one of the part of it, to be able to sacrifice or control it. So I'm still trying to learn. Joey Fall says, remove the beams of one on eyes and then worry about cleaning another site. Um, you want to change someone else, change one. So I totally agree with that. But the question is, why do so many people want to change other people? What benefit do other people have to change? You know, I just, that's what I think about people. I mean, I'm always seeking help. I'm like, this is what I, I'm going to go off on a tangent. And I, I love to see YouTube videos when somebody says, this is 10 reasons how you're going to do this. And then somebody tried 10 steps and some people are successful, some people are not. But everybody's looking for somebody to teach them how to be. And um, no one can teach you how to be more than yourself. You can learn from others. You can admire others. You can see their life experiences and you can use them as mentors. But how you should be is for you to uh, decide and come up with personally. And um, I think when people are taught a certain way and then it doesn't work for them, that's when they lose uh, connection. But I'm still trying to learn. Joyful says, indeed, a main frustration is that I can only shed ego entirely while in deep meditation. Why do we want to change others? We have an ego. Yeah, that, that's, we, we, we're on the same page pretty much. Uh, well, Husky Mufdan says, think about the first 30, 40 years of your life. You tried to be what people expect from you. After that, you find you find yourself. I'm still looking for Charles. <laughs> I know that I like to smile and laugh and I like to learn. And um, I never wanted to, like, some people say like something is wrong because you don't want to be the best. Well, I want to be the best me. And I'm not saying I'm not competitive, but it was always about how I felt. It's never about what you thought. And um, I've always had to fight that because people would always try to tell me how I should be doing something. When I like what I'm doing, it's not hurting you. Why does it bother you? And other people have shown you that with their love of what they do, they've been successful because nobody thought that uh, being a skateboarder would be successful until like Tony Hawk and different Christian Hosoi and all these people blew up doing what they love to do. And then once you see that they can do it, then I was, I knew you can make it. So I, I have no, um, I'm never gonna tell people what to do. Just don't hurt other people. That's always my primary statement. Don't hurt other people. Full Soldier says, for me, I've learned that it is a waste of time to try to get anyone to do something they don't want to do that it's, that's all. Yeah, but a lot of people still, you shouldn't have did that. We wouldn't think it like you weren't thinking about me. But listen, it's not about you. It's about them. Um, 
Oily Channel. Husky, okay, yeah. Everybody subscribe to Oily Channel. Am I saying it right? Oily? I got I to gotta go back and check you out so I can say that. I'm, I hate messing up people's names because I will. Hey, KRDP, how are you doing? I hope that you're doing fantastic. I, I, I'm just saying KRDP. Corrupt. <laughs> I don't know. I was joking. But I hope everything is going good. Husky and Dog is yeah, okay, you're getting each other back at school. <laughs> Joyful says, we are what others tell us. You till the ego is shed. Ego is, is largely what we have been told we are. You are told your name is this. You accept it. Your gender and your nationality are this. Yeah, I agree with that, but it's kind of hard to separate that because I, I, I can think I'm the spiritual, super wise person, and then people are going to tell me who I could love, who I could associate with, how I should dress, and then we fit in, and then we fit in with that. And, um, oh, Derek, what's going on, my brother? Much love and respect to my brother, Derek C. Williams. Of course, you know, I got to say everybody should subscribe to Derek C. Williams. Brothers, I love him. Um, Derek, push your buttons. And I don't agree with everything, but I do agree with his perspective and how he expresses it. Even when I don't have the same type of feelings, I I, I get his point of view. Um, Carrot up says, I agree. Do what you want as long as you don't hurt others and you don't hurt yourself. Don't hurt yourself. But who are we to say what is hurting? Like getting your ear pierced is hurting your, your vessel, but people get their ear pierced. You know what I'm saying? When you imbibe, when you take in some type of uh, alcohol, that's damaging your vessel, but you still do it so well i will never tell somebody i don't want you to end your existence but like, i don't know other people so i'm never going to tell them uh what they should and shouldn't do just don't like if you're, if you're responsible for people then you got to think about how much you hurting yourself can hurt other people then I'm, i have i have some thoughts about that um however um when somebody just wants to do something because that's what they choose to do um, i, I got to think about it but i get i do get what you, you're saying K R D P. I get that. I get that. I, and I'm I'm doing great. Um, thank you. Joyful says we are told we are good one thing rather than another. That's that we this and not that, and we believe it and becoming. I agree with that. A lot of people uh, fear is external. It's not really internal. And then once you start having the fear of others, you start to internalize it, and that's the problem. Um, uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> That's funny. LaBella says, "Help Joy helps me grow my channel. God will bless you. Oh, I want everybody's channel to grow. So I want LaBella Diva. I want everybody to come subscribe to you. I want everybody to subscribe to Joy Fold or KRDP or whoever is Derek C. Williams. I want everybody who's a content creator to reach whatever number of goals you're trying to reach. That's just the way I look at it. So I'm never going to not um, tell somebody that they can't shout their page out or not uh, say it. Because, listen, everybody should subscribe to everybody. Why not? You know, I, I wish I had a lot of subscribers because it would make my conversation way more deeper and doper, you know? So it is what it is. But I'm not mad at people who subscribe or unsubscribe. That's your choice. You have the freedom to do what you want to do. And I respect you for even coming and talking to me for two seconds. <laughs> That's all good. Derek, from the point of view of the ego, yes. From the point of view of the true self, false. The true self is eternal, never changing. Hmm. Mm -mm. Derek says, the only thing constant is change. Good luck in trying to spin people. Folks are who they are based off of the title of your talk. Yeah, I'm not trying to change nobody. I ain't never trying to change anyone. But I'm always curious as why do people try to change other people? Because you see it all the time. You see it with uh, all these channels uh, or when people talk about who people should do or what. I mean, it's nothing wrong with giving your opinion. Your opinion is valid. Um, whatever you choose to do. But when people have an opinion that's contrary to mine, I may give my opinion to them, but it's not my, um, I think, was, was, it, was it Neil Soul said it? Or, or, it's nothing wrong with trying to convince somebody. Convincing is different than trying to force them to change. And like I say, if you're trying it, if you truly trying to train somebody, then it has to be beneficial to them. Why would somebody give up benefits for you unless they truly are that altruistic? And I don't think most humans are um, that altruistic. Most people um, are not going to do it. It's just not beneficial to them. That's just my thoughts, but I love to hear what other people say. Excuse me. Acra's Life. Hello, Acra's Life. Much love to you. I hope everybody subscribe to Acra's Life. I don't have a problem saying that. Like I said, I want 100000 this year too big a big dream. Nah, a lot. 100000 what? $100,000 or 100,000 subscribers? Um, listen, anything that you want, there's nothing wrong with you trying to get it. I mean, I'm not I'm not knocking anybody for any goal that they got. But the whole point is, if you want people to subscribe to you at all, shouldn't it be beneficial? Like, I got to make my page where people want to come. I want people to want to interact with me. First, people got to see it. Then YouTube got to put it out there. And then other people got to say, yo, Charles is good. And it's a slow girl. Like Derek says, you're going to get 
one person at a time. And so I'm not really trying to fight or beg or coerce or tell somebody to give me a thumbs up. It doesn't matter. I want you to like what I'm saying and say, damn, I like what Charles is saying. And then you give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give me a thumbs down. Not going to hurt me any which way. If you don't like it and you think I'm saying something silly, you're free to leave. I, I'm going to love you anyway. I can love you from afar. I want honesty. And if somebody doesn't like anything I said or they think I'm disrespectful, let me know. Because it's never my intention to hurt you. Why would I want to hurt you? I want to love you. I want you to feel welcome coming back. I tell people about me. I'm a polite, kind dude. I can be considered nice, but I can be a prick too. And I curse sometimes, but a lot of times I'm working. Like I'm not working on it. I have, um, I could be professional so I can tone me down to, to interact with the world. And I can still say the same things in a way that's satisfactory that won't, uh, offend people. I can do it because you know, it all depends who it is. I just try to be me. Um, I need you to help me grow my channel, please guys. La Belle Diva, I will help you. And uh, I'm gonna tell you something. I don't know if that's not spam because you say what you need. I get that, but just go ahead and, you know, uh, uh, La Belle Diva, since you're in the chat, tell us about your channel. What is, what is the purpose of your channel? So I would love to know, since you you can convince people to subscribe, what is your channel about other than being a diva? I want to know what the diva does. So if you're going to talk about you and I'm asking you like an interview, sell your channel. What is your channel about? I'd love to hear it. Um, let me go back to read. Um, right. It does not benefit us by change. The ego seeks endless goals. And when it gets them, it, is it satisfied? No. Um, it always needs another goal to chase, always seeking outside of oneself, never attaining lasting satisfaction. I'm going to think about that. So if somebody does say, I'm dissatisfied and I don't want anything else other than to live at peace, have they defeated their ego or can their ego become to a state of consciousness or to a state that is transcended its desire for more? Um, Husky and Wolfdog says, all who like to get in contact with others in the stream, do it in a respectful way. Leave them a nice comment. And if they like your content, they will get back to you. Everybody should listen to Husky and Wolfdog. Trust me. Oh, this is one of them. The singularity has arisen. I have nothing but love for the singularity. I'm just having that conversation. If I knew that you would hop on, I probably would have did a hangout. I was going to just talk for a minute. Whenever the classic Ruby, have you... I haven't checked your page in a minute. Have you did any more contact, wonderful woman that you are? <laughs> I, I hope uh, I hope Husky and Wolfgang will go check your page out and curse you out. <laughs> but she did a video about dogs, <laughs> about not letting the dog lick you. <laughs> I'm talking putting her on the spot because I love her. And, you know, I, I don't I understood the point. I did. I understood your perspective. Um, I, I don't go to her page, Husky and Wolfgang. She's a good person, but I'm just, but she she will any pet owner, any dog owners, you know, you're gonna you want to throw a rock at her. She deserves one. <laughs> I'm joking. Um Oh, I got it. I got to always mess with the singularity. You did it unless you put it on hidden. Just you gonna hide it. But OK, like I said, but do you think it's possible to get rid of ego completely? Don't you think we need a little of it? You got to ask uh, Joy Fold on that one. Um, I think it's kind of hard to get rid of ego. I mean, any, I don't know. I don't have the answers. Like Cassie, that's a hell of a question. Um, so I got to I got to uh, think about that. Uh, that's a deep question. Can you get I need to clear my dresser off. But got nowhere to put in of it. <laughs> Life. I'm sorry, Kater. I'm that's a KRDP. I'm sorry for that. I hit you. Joey Fo says defeating the ego means not. Oh, hold on. Zippy Zippy. You know, everybody should subscribe to Zippy. I love Zippy. She's awesome. You know, she, yes, Charles. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, Joey Fo says defeating the ego means not feeling uh, the thoughts or the self at all. When one is in this place, there is no suffering. It does not mean check out of life. It means change one's identity. Um, I'm, I'm not. I'm pretty trans. I'm pretty uh, transcendent. But I don't know. If I'm that transcendent yet because I, I, I love this ego, this Charles. For some reason, I love me. I like to look. Hey, Charles. And I, I'm, I'm always fighting that. I'm always trying to understand. This, this is just an outer shell, but it's hard because my whole life. I was my, my grandfather was Charles. My father was Charles. My father was proud to be Charles. So I'm proud to be Charles. And it's hard to um, escape the ego. It's hard to not dive into appreciation from the external. Like I, I love classic Ruby. I love Zippy. I love uh, Joy Fold. I love the big homie. So I love Lacasse. So if I didn't have that, could I, could I love altruistically and love you all the same or blow clam or Husky and Wolf dog? I'm just naming people. And, if I did not understand his ego, what you like for people who interact with me, then I would, I would just love everybody the same. And I, I would lose that uh, specialness. Um, oh boy, uh, I'm just who? Um, okay, let me go back. I say that. Um, okay, hold on, let me go back. I missed something. I just I missed something. All right. Um, <laughs> oh, I hope Joy jumps all down your throat, big homie. <laughs> big homie says Joy has been smoking too many banana pills. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, 
uh, KRDP is responding to Husky and Wolf Dog. I agree that's how I gained 25 subs in a few days. I was active in streams, and from there, my channel got checked out. And I, I totally agree with that. If people really wanted to grow their channel, they would hop into different streams to just talk to people. So I like the interaction because it makes me want to come back and, like, La Bella Diva. You, you know, I start seeing La Bella Diva. Now I want to go back and so we interact in it and check out your page. Like, I was in the Nerd of the North stream, and I had fun talking to the Nerd of the North. It was fun. So I now I'm in my brain. I'm thinking Nerd of the North. Now let's go check out Nerd of the North in, uh, in Norway. <laughs> you know, so I have fun. I have fun interacting. Like even now, um, I didn't expect uh, it to flow in like this, but then it started flowing and I started having fun. So I love to shout people up. I love to say car, check out KRDP. I love to say check out La Belle Diva. I don't, I don't have a problem saying go check out Zippy Brown. Zippy Brown is an awesome person and it, you, you can really network and grow there. I, I love Zippy. I love uh, Classic Ruby, The Singularity. Uh, one of my favorite people on YouTube because uh, whenever we get together and start talking, she has me just taking a, no a notepad and start writing because Ruby will teach you. You know, I, But like I say, I don't agree with everything everybody says, but to me, um, love is transcendent. So I love the spirit of a person. And if I know they're good or bad, um, does it, I mean, like, I was, Nerd of the North says that. Same thing. Like, I, I, a lot of people I would just turn into... Um, uh, like, I don't think everybody wants to be moderated, but a lot of people, I would turn moderated, like, boom, instantly, but I don't want you to say, take it off. Like, foot soldiers, Charles, don't do it, but I like foot soldiers. Something about foot soldiers is good, but I get it. So now I, I wait and, and I'll, I'll probably ask people, do you want to be a mod? And if you tell me, and I, I feel you, it is. So, um, whoo, um, man, I'm just talking my butt off. Um, uh, Big homie says, Charles, your message is pure and positive. It proves that people want BS and drama on social media. Hey, you know what? People people tend to flock to that. It's people that probably used to check me out, but because I don't say a lot of negative stuff, like, I'm, I'm, listen, I, I can talk about, quote, unquote, ratchet and scrags, and I respect people that do it, but that's just not my purview. What I want to talk about is how can we win together? How can you love people? How can you help people? Um, how can people have a great day? Who, I don't want people to come and be a man. I want you to come and be happy. I want to smile. I want you to feel great. I want I want you to know I love seeing Zibby Brown. I want you to know I love, like, it moves me to see Classic Ruby pop in my chat. It moves me to see Husky and Wolf Dog or anyone, because you don't have to be here. Big homie, every time I see Big homie is happy. But Jory Fowler is like a, a a deeper me. Like, man, I thought I was deep, but man, this is me <laughs> messing with me. Stop messing with me, Joy Fold. <laughs> but uh, the, the music, it, it's, it's your whole entity is fantastic, my brother, Joy Fold. I want you to know that. Got number love for you. Sometimes I need a wake up call. You, I thought I was open and honest and positive, but some people are even better than me, and you are one, at least the way I see it. Um, definitely, okay. Okay, here it goes. Okay, let me read. Um, okay, okay. Um, wisdom seems foolish to the asleep. See. Eckhart Tolle and behold what living outside the ego looks like. I, I'm going to check him out. There's a lot of people I don't know. I'm ignorant. So I'm just trying to learn. <laughs> I haven't, this is a singularity. Classic Ruby is a singularity to me. Um, so she says, I haven't uploaded lately since I did the who the F are you video. I know, I know. I'm trying to set up my new recording space needed. I'll be there. Okay, brother, pop it a thought. I'll check it out if I have some time. Because a lot of times I'm sleeping. I'm so caught up in everything that I do. <laughs> the Diva says, hey, Volclam. And Volclam, I, I love. She's a good person. She get passionate too. <laughs> you, you know, Volclam, uh, I don't know why. For some reason, something about you makes me think of hobby money. But I think it's the passion because I, I watch a lot of hobby money and I know she can get passionate too. So that's what it is. Because Volclam, I'm like, what? <laughs> what you say? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be joking. Uh, La Belle Diva says, Husky, right? Okay, that's, listen, everybody subscribe to La Belle Diva because La Belle Diva wants to grow the page, her page. And we're here. Yeah, I, I'm all for you. I want you to grow. Hey, Skylar Mier. Every time I say it right, let me know. If I'm saying the name wrong, Skylar Mier, Skylar Mier. I want to say it right. <laughs> oh, I love you more, Classic Ruby. You're awesome. You know, <laughs> the, the original unicorn, <laughs> the singularity. I like that better. Uh, KRDP says, well, the thing is, I got a leopard gecko I named Linguini, and I need to clear my dresser so I can have a place for the Linguini, for Ling I said, the Linguini. <laughs> Look, am I saying it right, Linguini? But the problem is there is nowhere for me to put Mr. Linguini. <laughs> okay, I got it. You know what's crazy to people? I'm going to tell you, this is the truth. I read so extremely fast that it's hard for me to read so. And um, so... I'm always slowing down to read and make sure I'm saying it correctly because in my brain, I see it and I'm done. But then I have to verbalize it and I got to slow it down. If you guys know, when I listen to every video on YouTube, I put it as fast as I can go at two. And I'm always mad because I can't put in like four. Because if I can go faster, it would be so much better for me because I can get through things fast. I'm one of those people that, that can really, really read fast. But when I'm in trying, if I'm trying to study, I'm reading extremely fast. And when I'm enjoying it, I take my time and um, I'll, I'll go through the story and visualize it and 
play the words in my head. Normally, I don't even do that. I just read it and I know it and I'm done. But I'm just sharing that with you. Um, so, okay, let me read. Okay, I like that. A leopard gecko. I got to Google what is a leopard gecko. <laughs> La Belle Diva, tell me. Ah, La Belle Diva, I want to know what your page is about. I mean, I probably, I don't know how good that's French. Uh, uh, type it in French in the chat, <laughs> Francois, and then it'll translate, and then we can say what your page is about. And I can go, you know, I don't mind supporting anyone. I'm, I'm all for you, you know. I want to, I want to be down. I want to be down. I want to be down with you. Uh. I'm joking, but um, okay. Haruki says, okay, I missed something. Okay, one thing. Okay, read that part. And all the time I've had a channel with my immediately 12 videos, I got hundreds of subs from being on panels because you got a lot to say, Sister Ruby. You have a lot to say. And um, you know what? I don't mind hopping on panels, but I know I'm going to be, uh, 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 how do you say it? The person who stands out or I'm a, I don't want to cause fights. I don't, if I can't flow with the channel and I don't want to take the line, I stand back. And if I have something to say, I stand on my channel and I'm not like, I'm, I'm not, I don't want to get involved with drama. So if I see people being like really negative, even though I can understand the message, because I have my own thoughts. Like, let me tell you about me, if people don't know. Um, I'm really into family. I think about it a lot. Having a family, raising a family, connecting with people, loving people, accepting differences, and working together to build a better world. But a lot of people don't, that I connect with don't think like that. Even though I love them, you know, they got a lot of animosity and a lot of, to me, from the way I observe control issues. So I, I'm always curious to why do you want to control other people? Just leave them alone and live in peace. And if you really want to change something, change the system overall, find a way to change laws or rules or to associate people that you want to associate with. And a lot of people are in situations due to system or whatever that they can change in their own, but it's about having the, the, the information and the, the standard of living and the the discipline to go there. So that's why um, for people who don't believe in the military, I do because the military will teach you discipline. If you can't get to a college or university or find a mentor or be a tradesman, go to the military and learn some type of discipline. And then it will change the way you see the world. And with discipline comes focus and focus makes you stronger. <laughs> I'm joking. But that's how I think about things in general. And I went off on a tangent, not reading what people are saying. And then it, it rolled so fast. Um, I mean, let me uh, go back because I want to read what everybody is saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh, I, the big homie is is funny. <laughs> That's why I'm not saying nothing. Okay, uh Skyler Mier says something I totally agree with. Uh support is free, but I just missed something. So what I'm missing, what I'm missing. Um hold on. Oh, class Ruby, thank you. I've read that, but let me it's almost too far because she says she loves my mind and her, my questions. I, I love you. You're deep. I, I'm always scratching my head talking to you because I'm learning so much. That's why I enjoy it. Like Joey Fold, one of the people that is gonna be like, whoa. Let <laughs> me uh, my other brother, Vate the Great. You gotta Vate the Great is deep, just like Joey. They, they both some of the deepest, coolest people you're ever gonna meet. And Joey Fold is a hell of an artist. Check his page out, please, please, people. Um, Bandoni's psychoactive properties are highly overhyped. A banana peel. I smoke that when I have world class cannabis. <laughs> oh, 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 that's awesome. People connect, and I love that. Um, a big homie says, Okay, Joy, that explains it. I walked out on that Eckhart's BS. It ain't for me. I keep thinking much more simple. It's cool to be simple. Like, I think I'm simply complex. I'm a simple ass dude. Like, I was thinking about, like, my friend, he's in business and he wants to make t shirts. I said, You make them, I wear them, and I promote them. I'm all for you. But I just want to make a t-shirt. So keep it simple, stupid. You know, not calling you, but not calling you stupid in small words, but you are something like that. Because if you keep it simple, life goes on. You know, listen, it's the universe is greater than what we know. Life is greater than what you know. Just accept that you don't know everything you, you're willing to learn and your life will get better. I'm trying to learn. I'm learning from all of you. You know, La Cassie, which is a, a beautiful sister. I think a fantastic sister. I, I love her deepness, boy. Uh, you, I'm going to say something that's biased. I don't think like that, but you're going to make somebody an excellent, excellent wife if that's what you're into but if not you're still a great person because i for me you you have a complimentary soul that you're willing to work with people and i think uh in life as a man men search for stuff like that they search for people i, I don't I, I, they search for excellence and you you exuded you exuded that you're willing to work with somebody and that's all people want is a chance excellent woman just like i think classic ruby is i think a lot of people are excellent and we all are human we all we can never be perfect but we can strive to be the perfect human to somebody else that we can be or to the group of people or to whoever however you see it please forgive me i'm not trying to offend anyone 
because I, I just love the human connection. I love the family unit. I love when I see people treat people like family. I love the respect and joy and the love of people. And now everybody's not for everyone. That's not what I'm saying. But sometimes you can meet uh, kindred spirits that are willing to work with you. And when you meet that, uh, embrace it and love it and accept what it is. Because nothing is promised. No one is there forever. And even I hope that nobody ever leaves people, but anybody can leave you. So just enjoy the moment that you have. Sorry, I just went off on a tangent. Uh, T dude X says, Joy just smiles and laughs. It's your ego that is <laughs> oh <laughs> Joy is not offended. Uh Joy for not identify with the ego seems foolish to those whose ego is strong. And so we shall leave <laughs> to to the darkness of the ego doubt. <laughs> uh, I mean uh, Joy for the big homie is gonna keep messing with you. That's just the big, that's a big homie. You gotta understand him. Um true facts God are um scholars say yes, ma'am. Joy, like I think you said connection is free. Joy for even better, I have not found a more Christ like human being than uh Ramana, uh, that's, that's Buddha, right? Indeed, he showed how to destroy the ego and live in outside of the bliss. Ah, okay, I can accept that. I mean, I, I, I had to do more study, but I understand it. Oily Channel said, hi, classic. <laughs> um, big homie says, Joy, you're being holier than thou now. How much of those weirdos get shoved? Oh, don't ignore the big homie. He's going to say some crazy stuff. I'm just ignore him. Oily Channel says, greetings. That's a love. Joy, here. Uh, I'm just gonna ignore what they're gonna be saying. Not enough hours. I think I'm missing stuff. It started popping up and flowing good. Um, here, not enough, I totally. This is my favorite statement, and I live by this. Uh, Husky and Wolf Dog. Not enough hours in a day. I always feel like that. If I like, I got to get some more steps in, and then I gotta hit the weights. I try to walk or run at least ten thousand steps a day, and I was like, at this moment, I said, oh, you know, let me just pop up and. Uh, just go live and talk for a second because I just feel like putting me out there and talking to people and getting some love back and feeling love and seeing people connect and seeing people, you know, I want everybody to subscribe to Husky and Whoop Dog. Everybody should subscribe to Classic Ruby. Everybody subscribe to Joy Fold and Oily Channel and, uh, uh, you know, everybody. I, I, I care RDP if you don't have to subscribe. I, I want that. But also, you know, I just, I, it's fun. It's really fun to talk. So I just don't understand why we don't promote more, um, Positivity, you know. I, uh, as a girl, I like named Tasha Elaine. I wish everybody subscribed to Tasha Elaine. She, uh, a woman, just recently got married, and uh, she was talking about her situations, and she's really open and honest. So, if you ever get a chance, check out Tasha Elaine, or check out our Views of You, or Sister Tosh Tom, or anybody else. Um, I got a lot of favorites. I just don't want to say everybody's name all the time, but I don't mind. I think everybody should subscribe to What the Hell Up Seven. I love my brother Rollo, or even the people that you probably won't agree with. I like Solo TV eighty four. Uh, my brother goes hard on the ladies, but I still love Solo. I love of so many people because I, they don't you don't have to think like me for me to listen to you we don't even got to agree but i'm all about positivity i'm always gonna say people should subscribe to hobby money i think that truthfully my favorite channel to watch if i can binge watch somebody on youtube will be drama club i think drama club is great so i always shout out drama club i just recently got to a chat with a nerd of the north and i'm gonna say everybody subscribe to nerd of the north or my brother minnesota gaming him in gaming I, so I don't mind shouting people out. It means nothing to me. But I don't ever want people to think uh, power of God or, you know, different people I'm thinking of at this time just popping in my head. Um, I want people to say what they want to say. Uh, Joe Fuller, speaking of my political views does not uh, the trick. Uh, for every month or two, I post a comedy, a, a sort of big political post that always helps me shed some subscribers. Listen, I whatever somebody... Uh, believes in or doesn't when it comes to politics, I'll let them have it because you're never wrong with your view. You know, it is what it is. Some people are for, some people are against. Um, I didn't want the best leaders to keep people safe. And um, I don't think everybody's qualified to hold a position of incubacy. <laughs> Can't hit you. I'm talking about <laughs> a grabber. <laughs> right, some people love that guy. Um, I don't I don't think everybody's qualified. I don't know who the best candidate is. And I'm not, this is my position is I want to do what's pragmatic and practical. That's what I want. And I want it to be the best, to make sure that most people survive the best that they can. Okay, that's my thoughts. So don't ask me what I think because it, I, I plead the fifth. If you, I plead the fifth. That's all I'm going to say. I respect the office. Maybe not the person, but I respect the office. You get what I'm saying? I don't respect the person. There's no disrespect, but there's, I wouldn't vote for them. I'm just being quiet. I'm being, I wouldn't vote for you, <laughs> for my leader. <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. Um, okay, I'm sorry, people. I think it's kind of cool to have a leash to walk Linguini, or to have a leash and collar so I can show family Mr. Linguini. That's KRDP. I want to see Mr. Linguini. That's going to be pretty cool. A good witch hunting. My channel is about how to get free stuff. Well, that's great. You're a good witch. <laughs> that's awesome. Dumpster diving. That's awesome. Good witch is awesome. Oh, DC Kool Aid Lisa. Everybody should subscribe to DC Kool Aid Lisa. I'm just here jibber jabbering. I'm not, you know, I love people. So I want people to do whatever they want to do. I'm never going to tell somebody not to 
be who they want to be. And I'm not trying to change nobody or anyone. So that's the whole point. But I'm always, I mean, I would love to change the world to make people accept differences and love people and don't force your views on other people. But it's nothing wrong with giving your opinion. So you can give me your opinion. If you said that you hated uh, pizza, I love pizza, I like pizza. I won't get offended because that's your opinion. If you say you hate all men, I won't get offended. Or you hate women or you hate anybody. I, as long as you're not promoting hate, but if you tell me why you hate something, I hate evil people, but I can accept it. So that's the point I'm making. I don't want you to be evil. I don't want you to hate anyone, but I can accept your differences as long as you are not hateful in your view. If you're about separation, which I'm about inclusion, I love everybody. Everybody uh, should be uh, able to eat and survive, but we have to do it in fairness. And if you can't be fair, then I understand separation until we can get it to be fair. But I want everybody to help everybody. So that's the way I think. A joyful says the military is willing, good, and fine, so long as we aren't spending more on it than everybody else combined while neglecting our own people, as we are currently doing. But there's a reason why that is, is because uh, power is everything to the people, the hegemony or the oligarchy or the plutocracy. So how can I keep people in check if I don't have a system to control, which is the military, the military industrial complex. So that's why you spend more money on the military than your people, because uh, if you have power, then you can change the system. But if I want the system to change the way, the way it is, then I'm going to make sure I control all the weapons. I'm going to make sure that I can dominate and isolate and uh, make everybody else your enemy and make you want to support my regime. And that's why you put more money in the military, because fear is a hell of a power. So if you're scared of China taking over, you got to make sure your military is strong. And if you want to make sure that you can control what people bring to your country because you're isolated by oceans, then you want to make sure you have a powerful Navy and be able to have strategic positioning so you can respond quickly. Uh, I can go deep into it because I'm a military guy, but I'm not. You know, forward presence and all these other concepts that most people don't even know, but it is what it is. Um, oh, wow. You speak people into existence, don't you? Um, so Cassie says, well, Charles, talk later about the cook. I hope you cook something fantastic and I hope you have a great day, Cassie. And I hope everybody checks you out because I think you're a wonderful human being. <laughs> Husky and Wolf Dog. Also, I think everybody should check them out. And, uh, uh, classic Ruby should make an apology video to Husky and Wolf Dog because no, I'm joking. Um, Joy Fosa, ego is complex, mind is complex. Shedding, shredding YouTube and being uh, YT and being self, self is simple. Okay, I, I gotta think about that. Explain it. I have autocorrect, uh, it's okay, but I'll figure it out. Hey, Drama Club, which is uh, everybody should binge watch Drama Club. I just think that that's a fantastic talent right there, that lady. <laughs> um, I'm just, I did a lot of talking. I said all type of stuff. I didn't even mean to. I just, I meant to go 15 minutes and then the chat started popping. And now I say everybody subscribe to everybody. Husky Wolf Dogs says, got to walk the dogs, have fun. Uh, I'm trying my best to stay positive. You know, Joey Fold is helping me, but he going, he, he going so, uh, so super spiritual, so universally peaceful in the middle of the, the Buddha that sometimes that this, this, I'm sending positive vibes, but then I got the suffering is there too. I'm joking, but I, I'm, that's my problem. I'm, I'm too into the happiness. My ego is kind of big because I'm always about feeling great and loving my sister KCD, Top Diva, who I wish everybody would subscribe to. You know, I love to say that. You're like, I wish everybody would subscribe to Joy Fold. You'll never know how deep he is when he gets into your comments. <laughs> Joy Fold says, never fear. Joy Fold, muted and ignore those whose egos are so threatened and afraid of being found to be false that they fight truth fiercely and will never accept truth. <laughs> it is what it is. Um, I, truth, so don't look at me. Okay, Good Witch Honey said, my sister can't stand our dear leader. She All she does is complain about him. To me, personally, I don't like a government period, no matter who is running it. I understand that position because a lot of people feel that, is the government really for you or is it a system of oppression? And I wish we could change a lot. You know, um, I try my best because I'm military to always respect the, the office. I don't have to respect the person. I don't have any animosity or ill will, but um, I don't know who the best candidate is. Um, and I, I, from my leader, I'm not trying to dis the president, but it's going to happen. Uh, I don't like people that, that come off emotional and irrational. I'm not, and it's cool to not care, but that's not what I want in a leader. I like people who are um, refined. Like I don't care what people thought about Obama or Mr. Clinton or anybody else or Jimmy Carter or Ronald Reagan or Bush or whatever your thoughts are. But all of them came off uh, except for Junior. Junior Junior had a little gunslinger too, but everybody else came off professional more or less, so I can respect it. Even if I don't respect their political ideology, I can respect them for holding their office. And I may not respect what happened, And but a lot of statistics you only get from a certain point of view, and I, because I'm not in the in the cabinet, I'm not really interacting with the people one-on-one, -on -one. I can just say I like or did I did not like. And um, I did not, I don't personally dislike any, uh, any person as has been our president, but some like uh, not to diss the, the current um, president, Mr. Uh, Donald Trump, President Trump. But um, um, as a president, he comes off the um, 
I don't, I'm going to think about how I'm going to say it, but the most uh, easily provoked. Yeah, that's the best term to say. So that's the best word I can say without, because I don't dislike him, because truthfully, he's entertaining. He's, he's likable. You can't help but to laugh. But you'd be like, oh my God, did he say that? He's our president. Oh my God. <laughs> did he say that? I got to say, you are really our president. You know, he's the most you can see doing the wheel for home streaking. <laughs> you know, so you know that he would be fun, but sometimes the fun president ain't the best president. That's just my thoughts. But you will, like, you know, <laughs> I'll just be quiet. <laughs> sometimes the most, sometimes you want the more calm, collected dude, you know. So having Charles as president is not going to be a good idea because I'm like, I'm like, off of work day, everybody quit their job today. Hey, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Um, KRDP says, I might upload Linguini in a few, but I got to clear the damn dresser off for Linguini. I'm really hoping my mom will let me get at least for him. I hope so, too. I, will, I would love to see Linguini. Uh, <laughs> Jay Posey, <are> correct. <laughs> I said something. It was all good. I still respect your question. If Hitler was in a political power, would you have the same acceptance for those who supported him? Cross his arms away for a supply. Um, Okay, um, since you asked me that question, I will answer. Um, a lot of people accept things out of ignorance. So let's say that if you are oppressed or somebody who feels they lose enough, you will support somebody who's doing detrimental harm because to them, they feel they're justified. So the people who did support Hitler, a lot of them felt they were doing it great for the cause of their nation and they saw everybody else as the enemy. So would I support Hitler? No. But then again, we have supported many of leaders when, if you look in retrospect, the lot of our wars are wrong. Who what are we doing going to other countries telling them how to live? Talking about we promoting, uh, like, I'm a, I'm a soldier, so I understand following or orders and following instruction. But ideologically, um, would I want to go to Vietnam? Do I want to go to Iraq or Iran? Do I, do I want to do, do I want to go to Afghanistan? But no, but we do it. So the point is, um, you're not always privy to everything that happens in the mechanizations of the government. So um, from what I've heard of Hitler, I would have never supported him because there's no way on earth um, would I ever support um, the demonic things that happened to the humans, the, the, the Jews or whatever people they uh, did that to. But then again, uh, the United States government has done that to several other groups and we still support, we may not support the leaders, but we still support the, the system that propagated those situations. So you got to always look at it from a biased perspective, not by the bias, but it's kind of hard to be unbiased. And you got to always think about the juxtaposition. What if I support them, but I don't support this. I don't support this. I don't support this. I just support the time we're in. I'm trying to make the best of it. But uh, that was a hell of a question, Joey Fold. Uh, would I support Hitler? I can never support that. But then again, um, if I supported any president and we've been in some war that we shouldn't have been in, but I don't know about it, I support it. And it was not justified because we don't know. Um, if we supported the the war on crime or the war on drugs, and uh, it, it was funded by the government to destabilize the population to form the war to have power somewhere else. So it, it's you got to look at yourself when you ask those questions. It's a hell of a question to ask. And I'm, I'm quite ignorant, but I'll do more research so I can come back with it. But that's just me speaking off the top of my head without giving a lot of thought. Um, because in a way, if I'm supporting the system now, I'm supporting atrocities around the world. I'm some, it's people that's hungry. It's people that aren't living. It's people that don't have sanitation when we can provide it, and they live in a metropolitan, a metropolitan area. It's, it's places in the world where people have no access to books or no internet. And in America, it's people that are living in tents, and we still support the system. So that question you ask, like I try to stay, uh, I try to always turn off my empathy, but then it gets deep when we start thinking about that. There's a lot of people who are not getting health care they deserve or getting the love and attention that they, they have. Or it's people that are being separated from their children. So, whoo, Joy Fold, you dropped that on me. I'm going to stop before I go too deep. Much love to you. I'm sorry. I like Joy Fold. That was a deep one. Glad you did that because you made me go there. Um, you really made me go there. Um, okay, I get it. Okay, I, I want to go back and read what everything is, what we said. Artist, oh, hell no. Nah, I'm going to be stream. Okay, I'm going to be on the stream viewing your stream as I clear out my dresser now, but I won't be active in the chat for a few minutes. Okay, it's all good. Trauma Club. Much love to you, Google. Good witch, honey. I get brand new products fresh off the store shelves by the truckload. That's awesome. Joy Fold's a good witch. I disagree. I said that we are having the problem even now. Trump doesn't doesn't have the power to do all that he wishes. That is the only difference, both preaching hate. Um, and so I reject all those who support Trump and I ask you to steer clear of my peaceful life. Um you gotta let people do what they do. I understand that. Like for me, um I okay, how do I explain that? I I don't dislike somebody for what they like. Um I think that our whole system needs to be changed, but I'm not, I live in it. So I got to participate in it. So no matter how much I don't support somebody, um, am I changing the system? So I, I, I get you joyful. I do. Um, 
Louis Vuitton is a divide and conquer is their agenda with politics. Um, Miss Naturally Nolans, I think everybody should subscribe to Miss Naturally Nolans. Like I think everybody should subscribe to Good Witch Hunting, and I think everybody should subscribe to Joy Fold, but I'm gonna keep it going because this is good now. Um, Miss Naturally Nolans says you made it to my live. I'm glad you made it. We can just chit chat because Joy Fold is dropping it on me, and I get his point of view. I do. I understand. I, I, I laughed at your Trump video because I understood what you're saying. Like a lot of people, um, okay, if I see love and truth, then I'm an enemy of lies. And so how can I accept those who accept and defend and repeat such lies? I cannot leave off your war on truth and reality. First, okay, I get that. I don't support any politician or follow politics. A lot of people don't. A lot of people are truly ignorant and don't care about politics at all because it means nothing to them. Who's the president or who does not really doesn't affect a lot of people's lives. A lot of people don't even know the mayor of their own city or the mayor of their county. They don't even know. They don't know who's sitting on their city council. A lot of people don't even care. A lot of people just want to go to work and go home and love their children or love, take care of themselves and Who's the president or not means nothing to them. They don't even care. And how can you get mad at people for that? I can't. Um, so, so it's beyond politics. It is truth in reality versus lies in, in the darkness. Some people never even watch TV. I, I can't name five TV shows. I can tell you what's coming on Netflix, but I don't know what's happening in CNN. I don't really follow that. And that's ignorance on my part. But sometimes I want to be blissfully ignorant. Uh, Good with Hunting said hello uh, to Ms. Naturally Nolans. Joseph Erickson, hey, I'm doing great, bro. I'm just having a great conversation with my brother, Trey Fold, who's dropping it on us. And I'm trying to catch up because. Uh, I like the hell. I can stop process. I understand the passion of my brother. I do. I respect it. Um, how are you doing? How is it going? It's always going great. Happy Thursday to you and the weekend's almost here. You have anything planned for this weekend? I have every day I plan to relax and love people. That's what um I, I feel. Um, I just want to be the best human being I can be. That's it. Now, I can't wait to read it. Uh, that, that's what I want. Joy Foles says, I despise the person. Let me do it again. I despise the person of Donald Trump. It is evil. I love the consciousness awareness that exists within Trump. I am not laughing. I am disgusted and saddened. Let me say that again. He said it. I despise the person of Donald Trump. It is evil. I love the consciousness awareness that exists within him. So you love the, that he's part of the universe. I am not laughing. I am disgusted and saddened. So listen. Okay. I understand that. Um, I always say this, before Donald Trump was president, the people hated him. But once he became president, people hated him. And I'm not saying they're wrong for that. I mean, if he, a lot of things he says can be seen as evil. A lot of it can be, and I'm not opposed to that perception. But to somebody else, he's good. So that's why I say right and wrong, love or like is subjective. Somebody who eats a plant, uh, is thinking anybody who eats an animal is a criminal and somebody who's a carnivore, how could you eat those plants? They give us oxygen. So it's always perspective. So, um, <laughs> I, I, I have to think, bro. I get, I get, but, but joyful. I love you, bro. You deep, man. I'm sitting reflecting what you say. Um, Joseph Erickson says, very true, my brother. I agree with you. KB says, hey, KB211, you know, I love you. You're great. Um, joyful said, so I must go. I grow hungry and so it is time to meditate. Tip, always meditate on empty stomach. It makes the mind easier to subdue. I totally understand it. I do. Good, which, okay, I'm going to go back. Good. I don't allow other people outside of my life and reality to bother me or worry about things I can't control. I try not to. That's why I tell my sis when she spends hours trying to convince me to hate the president. Okay, I mean, it, it, it is what it is. I, it, like everybody, I'm going to tell the truth. Um, everybody in my community, everybody that I know personally, all, except for like one or two people, hate Donald Trump. I'm talking about every relative, every, you know, I grew up in a black community with black people. And I know probably five people in total, or maybe six, and mostly from YouTube that love Donald Trump. Everybody else, nobody I know, nobody I know personally that voted, voted for Donald Trump. And I'm talking about including me. So that tells you, um, how my, I don't, but I don't hate. So you got to understand Charles, but I'm not opposed to people who love him because some people do. I'm not opposed to him, but you know, it's, I just wouldn't have got my vote. <laughs> That's all I'm telling you, but I don't hate because I respect the office. I don't know the man. I don't respect his view on a lot of things. And I would have said something different, but I don't hate him because I hate is such a strong term. I just wouldn't have picked you, but somebody else did. So I, the politics are over my head sometimes. So I leave it alone. Okay. Hey, all right. Uh, Foot Soldier, you have a great day, too. I, I ran my mouth. I said a lot. Classic Ruby says, yay, that is me. I just care about, I don't care. I just can't care about politics. I think as a collective, we should, but I'm not the one. I, okay, I, I'm like that. I mean, I understand it, but I'm just trying to love people and uh, control what I can. And um, I got my, my sister, Just Be You, when I need to, she was speaking over my head. I go listen to Just Be You, and she she lets me know about bills and stuff. I mean, I know more than what I'm saying. Trust me, I'm really politically aware. But uh Sometimes you got people like I, I hope Joy Fold and uh, Just Be You that slap me in the face and say, Charles, study your politics. Yeah, and I will. And um, I, I'm more analogous with 
joyful than not, but I don't get emotional and I don't get like I, I accept the differences. So when people don't think like I do, I'm not mad at you for liking someone. I just don't agree. And I can accept the differences. I never get disgusted or appalled because life is death and life and pain and pleasure is all of it. It's being in the middle. It's being the Buddha. So I have to just let love you from afar and control it. And like he said, sometimes you got to meditate to meet that zenful space, to that place, but you got to keep on trying. This has been really, really fun. Joseph Eric says, he's talking to KB. Hey, how you doing, KB? Everybody says, go to KB 211. My sister be getting the game it on. She maybe you want to play Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> I feel like playing it now. And Mr. Natural Nolans, how you doing? How are you doing, my lovely lady? I hope you're doing great. I haven't did a lot of talking. Good Witch Hunting says, I used to get paid to call people and discuss politics, upcoming laws for four years. Surely was not ignorant about politics back then, but I see how corrupt the system is. And I agree with that. Um, Class Ruby says, Trump being elected as president reflects very poorly on Americans, specifically the American people in the eyes of other countries. Um, I understand that perspective, um, but a lot of people support him because they think he's good for business and he's going to get put America back at a position of economic power because they've uh, they sent out all their businesses for manufacturing to other countries and now uh, the power production is elsewhere and we're paying out the money. So I think that's what they were thinking. Uh, if he can change the deficit or change it, um, bring back jobs, which I haven't seen. I haven't studied it, but I don't see it happening like most people say. So I leave that one alone. I uh, just I absolutely love your channel. You're an absolutely awesome YouTuber. We touch on a lot of great topics in your live streams. You're, thank you, man. You made me. Thank you, Joseph. Uh, that means a lot to me. I just try to have dialogues and um, you guys made it. So Joy Fold made it. I love Joy Fold. I think everybody should subscribe to my brother. I hope you don't get mad at me for not uh, hating that I don't, but I, I, I can respect it. If somebody came in and said, I'm pro-Trump, I want to hear everything you got to say. I'm not going to hate you. I just want to hear it. And um, I'm good at turning off whatever opinion I have to hear the perspectives of others, because that's how you learn. That's just how I flow. And I don't want to lose anybody. But if people don't like anything I'm saying, you're free to leave. I mean, I'm going to love you from afar. That's why I'm always into supporting and subscribing and trying to listen to what people say, you know. And if you interact with me, I'm telling you, I'm coming back to watch two or three of your videos because I want to know you. So when I talk to Joseph, I see a review. I can say, oh, he's reviewing or he's having playing a game or he's doing this. That's what it's about. It's about learning. A good witch, honey, says, I agree. Trump's narcissist and poor speaker and <laughs> professional. But sorry, I cannot stand Hillary Clinton either. And a lot of people can't. I totally understand that. Um, uh, I'm gonna try not to be biased, but that whole super predator situation, and then that's a lot of people. I I don't think would be the best for office, but politics is more. It's a lot of nepotism. It's a lot of who you know, and it's a lot of manipulation and paybacks. So our system uh, needs to be changed. But I don't have the idea of how to change it. I really don't. Um, as Ruby says, yes, Charles, but that uh, that in itself is a joke. That man is a very hit or miss in business. I mean, he's generated wealthy, he's generational wealthy, not independently. And how many businesses did he bankrupt again? I, I totally understand. I get you, Ruby. And but it, for, people don't know how you get it. They didn't know you're rich. If somebody saw me driving in a Lamborghini, they don't know I rented it. They're going to see me in a Lamborghini and think I'm successful and they're going to follow me. There's a lot of people because like they're going to see the YouTube stream and they, they're not going to see a lot of numbers. They're not going to come in and see me. But let's say one day I get to the point where it's 100 people in the stream or 200 people in the stream. Then everybody, oh, Charles is great. But uh, Charles could have been great with one person. I was great when it was just me and Class of Ruby having fun, having great dialogues. So the way people see the world is always, it's always, it's always crazy. Huh? Our president is truly a joke. He has to be a stinking joke, though. That's why I think our government is completely corrupt. We can't probably have elected any of these criminals. I don't trust the voting boxes. I, um, I don't. I understand your point in perspective, but I'm gonna just uh, keep stay quiet on that one. Joseph Erickson says we all learn from each other. Louis Fuller, hey Louis, good reviews, man. Appreciate you stopping by. Hey, how are you doing today, guys? I hope everybody subscribed to Louis Fuller, Joseph Erickson, Good Witch Hunting, Classic Ruby, everybody. Hold on, I'm getting a phone call. Let me out here. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me five minutes, or give me five minutes, okay. or ten minutes. Ten minutes. All right. I could have just had a dialogue, but I just answered it. <laughs> anyway, this is all good. Um, KRDP, you came back. Oh, let, let's, what's going on? You know, sometimes you get phone calls in the stream. I should be like, oh, body calls. But, you know, i got the people that I love that are they can get through just in case something emergency happens and i got to make a dash. But right now I can talk for a little bit. This has been really good. Um, i say this. No matter what, you have to respect positions. I don't have to respect people, but I respect positions. So... Not everybody should own a position, but that's how they set up for our government that every couple of years we can replace people. And the president, you can only serve two terms and you got four year terms. So if people really don't like Donald Trump 
and they vote, they can get them out of office. They can do it, but it depends how many people understand. But I don't, I don't understand like uh, the electorate. Um, that's that, a lot of stuff. The popular vote and the, the way that the votes are and districts and stuff is it, kind of crazy. And I need to do some research. It's been a while. I've did a video about it before, but um, a lot of people got to understand. It's a lot to know and. Uh, I'll say you need to know who your city councilman is and who your your mayor of your city is more important than the president because that that detrimentally affects your life. That's just my perspective. <laughs> oh wow, you know what, people? Um, if anybody got something, want to talk? I'll keep it. Katie here says, uh, "Kr already cleared off my dresser. Just got to clean out Linguini's terrarium, and then I'm gonna move him into my room. I'm gonna, I want to see the video. You didn't, Kr already didn't made me happy, man. I'm so happy. I want to see. I want to see." Uh, uh, Mr. Linguini, I have a hell of a name, Linguini. <laughs> I got a, I got a iguana named Linguini. <laughs> oh man, I've had a lot of fun. Louis Fuller, I'm happy for you to pop on, but I have some things I do got to do. I want to keep on talking, but I said, give me 10 minutes. So I got to unwind and get myself ready to, uh, uh, to, to have a conversation about something somebody needs me to do. KB, you know, I love you. KB is awesome. You guys don't know KB 211, you know, you are around the way. I'm gonna I'm 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 enter next stock KB. I'm gonna make her find me. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna choke. She's like, oh, Charles. <laughs> I'm like, grab that photo, baby. I'm hopping in. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't want to show you Laguini now because the terrain is looking bad. I understand. I understand. But one day I look, I look forward to seeing Laguini. I want to celebrate uh, you having a leash around your your, your iguana. <laughs> That'd be so cool. I'm just happy. You guys make me happy. Uh, Joy Folk made me happy. Uh, Hobby Money made me happy. Drama Club made me happy. Uh, Class Ruby made me happy. Louis Fuller made me happy. Oily Channel, if I say it right, and it's such a husky of dog. Just good witch hunting. Um, I, I just, I just, life is great. Uh, people, I love you because you guys make it great for me. Uh, Joseph Erickson, dude, thank you. I mean, you guys don't even know. I'm so moved. I'm, I'm so moved. I want to keep on going, but I got, I got to end it because I have some things to do. But maybe later I, I hop on in our game. <laughs> Class of Ruby, I love you. You're awesome. The singularity. If people don't subscribe to Class of Ruby, you guys are missing out. You gotta gotta go subscribe to her and bomb her in the comments. Where's the videos? Damn it! Where's the videos? <laughs> you could almost get on. The, sorry, the Drama Club is in a class by herself. You gotta go check out Drama Club, Class of Ruby. If you haven't seen Drama Club, you sleeping. Yeah, has everybody seen Drama Club? <laughs> I'm saying you gotta you gotta check out Drama Club. I'm I'm serious. Go check out Drama Club. I, I've I've never uh, I've never. Other than BGS for his information, uh, I've never said you should check somebody out, but Drama Club is just, uh, uh, wow, that, that's amazing. It's an amazing, it needs an HBO show or uh, show, Drama Club. I'm sorry. I, I keep saying it. I'm mad at myself because I don't like her like that, but I just got to tell the truth. Punk ass, Drama Club. I'll feed her some pills so maybe she disappeared. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Uh, KRDP says, once I clean it, I'm going to move it. And one of those days when I get a chance, I'm going to show Mr. Linguini on my channel. But meantime, I might go a little bit shopping spree and get a fresh letter. But that's cool. Joseph says, you're very welcome. My pleasure. Always thinking uh, you. It's always an honor to be in your live stream. You're absolutely amazing. Man, thank you. That means a lot to me. I think I'm just a, uh, uh, oh, okay. Maybe a litter box at least for uh, 10 bucks. Dr drop her link. Uh, who link? You want me to drop Drama Club link? You don't tell nobody I did that. I drop it, you know. Just, you know, I don't want her to. She already got the big old head, and I'm because I keep saying how great she is. So, um, yeah, I, you know, I got to stop talking about how great she is. She is. She's great. Let me see if I can drop her a link. Give me a second. Is that my? That's probably in my chat box. But let me go see. Drama club, and I drop it. I will. You know, I'm mad. I'm mad that the chick is good. I'm mad. I'm, 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 my, my sister would say low key jealous. No, I'm not. I don't even understand it. Um, somebody else dropped Drama Club. KB, KB did it. Yeah, I think Drama Club is awesome. I really do. If you haven't seen Drama Club, uh, you everybody should watch Drama Club. That's just my thoughts. I really think she's just um, for entertainment purposes, it's just excellent. Like a TV show. If that was a TV show, I'd be watching <laughs> just to see like Deja Chappelle's show. It was like that. Her skits are just good. All right. Anybody got anything they want to say? Everybody subscribe to KB, Class Ruby, Joseph Erickson, every content creator. Um, hey, let me do this because I'll be forgetting. Um, I know everybody don't want to be a moderator, but I want you, I want you to be able to drop your own link. So like Joseph Erickson, you want to drop your link or KRDP, if you want people to check your change out, you can drop your own link. I don't mind. So I'll make y'all, you know, if 
anybody want to be a moderator, I'm cool with. You can be a moderator too, because I don't have no, there should be a mod, you know? <laughs> I wish everybody would subscribe to the Riley Hawk and Laura Brandon, two people I love. Good, which honey, it's good to meet you. It's good to really interact. I'm gonna go dire, dumpster diving, check it out. I need to become way, way better supporter of people. So sometimes people need to nudge me. Hey, Charles, come check me out. Put that in my comments. Hey, Charles. Hey, you know, like uh, KB two eleven. KB is awesome. So anyway, anybody got anything they want to talk about? You know, I can. I'll talk a little bit, but I'm really going to handle some business. <laughs> uh, you know, I don't want to uh, hold people up. I want people to fly free. I, I, I've been honored, humbled, and blessed that people came through. La Belle Diva came through. La Cassie came through. Um, Volcom came through. Um, I, I really feel uh, humbled and blessed. It just really, you guys don't even know it. I really feel. Humbled and blessed. Um, it, this is every moment I go on YouTube is special. That's probably what it is for me. This is just fun for me. It's not even work. It's just like inner joy, like entertainment. This is enjoyment. Like I'm entertaining, but I'm enjoying it. So I'm enjoyment. That's the next video I'm gonna do. Enjoyment. <laughs> How silly. Enjoyment. Yes. Oh wow. <laughs> Good with hunting. Yeah. Thank you for coming through. I think I just I love people. I want you all to feel great. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. Uh, hopefully. Um, you know, I don't know. I, I don't even know what I'm saying half the time. I just feel good. Uh, Joy Fold, I really appreciate it. Louis Fuller, uh, thank you for stopping by, my brother. Thank you. You know, I, I appreciate what you're doing, man. Uh, you say, anytime I got some tech questions, go ask. So I'm going to ask you. I, I don't have any tech questions at this time, but I, when I do, big homie, you know, I love you, bro. Stop messing with people. Big homie. <laughs> Zippy Brown. I love Zippy. Husky and Wolf Dog. Okay. I don't see everybody who came through. Hopefully, if I didn't, um, it's, uh, not on purpose that I missed you. Erika's life, uh, Willie Channel. I'm trying not to miss anyone that stopped by because I want you to know a foot soldier, but like, you know, I just I don't want nobody to feel like I don't love him because I do. Skyler Mier, and thank you for Frank G, my main man, Frank G. Yeah, uh, you know, I want to make a, a moderator, but they don't want it. It's hobby money. <laughs> Hobby Money, Hobby Money. I love Hobby Money. I'm telling you, I should go check out Hobby Money. You'll learn a lot from Hobby Money. Oh, wow, man. Thank you for every thumbs up or thumbs down for whatever somebody gave me. You guys mean the most. It's, 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 I'm so honored and I feel so great. And um, I look forward to seeing you guys on the next conversation. It was great. Um, <laughs> oh, see, we keep talking her back into existence. <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, okay, RDP says, yeah, I found at least for like $4 and a little about $4. So that's cool. $8. That's a good deal. With free shipping so I can do an unboxing on that if I wanted to do it. Don't think I'm going to. Well, go ahead. Do an unboxing. That'd be cool. You know, you'd be like, uh, I expand you. She'd be like, hey, what's up, internet? <laughs> you know, so check it out. Check it out. It, you know, it, just do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do do whatever you feel. This is all for fun. Have fun with it. Um, now, I, Whatever. Uh, your fun is my fun. That's how I look at it. <laughs> she said, I don't understand how anyone can give you a thumbs down. You get a hater. Eh, thumbs down, thumbs up matters not. I don't care. I love it anyway. Because I mean, somebody watched and cared enough. Oh, you know, I don't care who, because maybe it's my big homie. I don't care. It's all good. It's nothing but love. Because nobody got to give you nothing. You know what I mean? Thumbs down, get people to start watching. So maybe I need like five more. <laughs> you know, it don't bother me in the least. It's all good. It's all good. You know, I I can. It is what it is. Life goes on. You know, I, I feel great. I, I'm, I'm, I'm actually happy as hell. You know, it just you guys will never understand. I'm, my life is great. I feel fantastic. You know, probably go listen to what the hell up seven and see what he's talking about. I'm talking about. I love to listen to my brother. He makes me laugh the most. Rollo be on one. Rollo be like, they gonna lose. They gonna trade him. <laughs> I like when he talks sports. And then he he want everybody to leave the country. So Rollo makes me laugh at that. He call he calls America Babylon. <laughs> I get it. A lot of people just say that. I don't know. To each their own. I respect them. And whatever perspective people have, I love because life is great. I want you all to feel great. I'm just like a big bundle of feeling great. I'm telling you, woohoo! <laughs> That's how I feel all the time. Woohoo! And um, I'm oblivious to stuff. Stuff don't bother me like that. As long as I can live and see tomorrow and hug somebody, my day is great. <laughs> Man, I've had so much fun, people. You guys will never know how um, honored and how happy I feel because you guys just interact with me. You don't have to do it. You don't have to be here. You chose to sit and chit chat with me. Then I got to talk about how awesome drama club is, but I'm lying. I'm joking. <laughs> you know, but uh, I think I, I think I, I, I truly mean that. I wouldn't say it if I didn't mean it. I think your talent is. Man, I've never seen nothing like it on YouTube. I, I was looking for you for a long time. Like, wow, this is this is funny. Uh, everybody's not like that. Damn, I'm watching the Weather Channel and 
damn Texas is under a flood watch, I'm pretty sure. Oh, you, know, it's, it's, you deserve it. You deserve I hope your success comes your way. I think the right person to see you, whew, it's going to your life. You are one click away from your life changing. That's what I think. Like somebody might not say, that's drama. I'm not going to watch it. But if they sit and actually watch two or three of your skits, they were, God damn it. Sorry. But that you know, GOT got <laughs> D A M M I T, <laughs> damn it, not not damnation. <laughs> but I'm serious. Some people just have that it that wow, this is actually good and it's natural. Some people got to work on it. Some people are just Dave Chappelle good. You you got the skits. I'm telling you, I, I, everybody I show is like wow, everybody, everybody. So um, don't get don't let your don't let, the, don't let the butt get too big. I almost said hip. Don't, don't get too. I'm joking, but you deserve it. I hope I hope you get that. I hope you. I do. I, that, that's if, if I can pick pick talent. Uh, if, I, if I can pick talent, yeah, you got that. I don't know if everybody got it, but for a lot of people, I, like that wasn't trying to. Uh, uh, what do they call it? Force it down my throat. There's a lot of people that do skits, but it's not the same. It's more like not. It's, it's, it's maybe they put a beautiful girl in there or they got like four or five people, but it's just be you. And I'm like, wow, it's just you. And it ain't me looking at it like, wow, it's like, wow, this is good. <laughs> That's what it is. Some people, it's more about how beautiful the people in there look and not what they saying, because it could be anybody and the person will be funny, but you be good. So I did all my flattering. <laughs> I, mean, I don't mind telling the honest truth. That's what I think. For people who know this is a Zelda shirt, <laughs> when maker, <laughs> just for you, if you want to know, just want to show you. <laughs> I got, I got a Zelda belt on too. You guys can't see it. It's a green belt buckle. <laughs> with the Triforce on it. <laughs> and you doing it from I'll show you. Oh, my pants off for you. Oh, I can reach it. I just want to show you. Look, look, a Zelda buckle. A Zelda buckle. <laughs> oh, I'm such a geek. Anyway, uh, nerd of the North. <laughs> or the King of the North. You know nothing, Jon Snow. Yeah, you're doing it. you good on your phone. Everybody else, I can't. I don't. I don't want to do it, and I, and I couldn't do it. So you're good. <laughs> All right, everybody. I didn't ram my mouth. I really appreciate anybody who listened to me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, everybody, subscribe to Drama Club, KRDP, uh, Joseph Erickson, Goodwitch Hunting, and anybody else. The classic Singularity, classic Ruby, <laughs> KB211, beautiful people, all of them. Um, Volclam, Zibby Brown, different people. You know, I have Joseph Erickson. <laughs> if I forgot you. Cassie, um, anybody, you guys are awesome. Trust me. Good with says, so nervous going to post face reveal next video. I never put myself on camera. Well, that's cool. If you know, if you want to do it, do it. If it doesn't, people go, most people that don't show their face get a lot of views anyway. You know, <laughs> it is what it is. Hey, 20 thumbs up, one down. Hey, hey, I'm happy. Nobody got to give me anything. So 21, 20 lovers, one hater. It might be a lover too. You know, sometimes people that hate you love you. Maybe it's, if it's all in jokes and fun. I'm all good with that. <laughs> just do it. <laughs> yeah, I totally agree. All right, people. Let me end this because if not, I'm going to just keep interacting because it's so fun for me. Have a great day. Uh, anytime somebody wants to have a conversation about something, anything you think is an interesting topic that we can talk about, email me. Email me. My name is my name. Or put it in the comments. Hey, Charles, I'll talk about this and I'll do it. You know, I don't mind the conversation. I love it. <laughs> uh, good witch hunting. I look forward to looking at you in a minute. You know, I'm about to... Uh, Go ahead and uh, good with hunting is okay. If you don't want to show your face, don't do it. Yeah, I agree. Don't don't do it if you don't want to. Just be confident in you and do whatever makes you feel happy. <laughs> All right, now everybody, take it easy. I'm much appreciated. Have a great one. Joy fold. <laughs> All right, take care.